It starts from Abuja Kaduna Road Junction and the village called Kakao. Up to, and then it links Kachao Road here, and then it moves to Zaria Road near the Kachiko. This is what the road is supposed to be. It's about 48 kilometers. And with 10 kilometers for to, to Malali, Malali Water Works. So then we have completed the first 16 kilometers. This is between the Kakao Junction, Abuja Road here, and Kachao Road here. So the road is useful, it's open for, for about one year ago. So it's, it's been very useful. It's also useful for those people who are coming from Abuja to Sabon Tasha to refinery, and even the truckers who, who lift oil. You know, part of the refinery road, part of the refinery that we went there yesterday, the road was also constructed by us. It's one of the intervention of the federal government when the, uh, when the, when the, when the truckers complained to the federal government that they want the road leading to the refineries were bad. So this is one of the roads that the federal government has intervened. And we, the federal government, we are done with it. The advantage of this sir, if you are coming from Abuja, I want to go to most of the northwest, Kano State, Sokoto, uh, Sokoto, Kazida. You don't have to go through the main town of the road. You can bypass the road and move. And move to. Presently, about 60% of the road has been completed. This is the first 16 kilometers. We have also filled the lane marking, we have finished the road size, and it's open and it's free for, for, for people to use it. Consultant. Yes, it's for about this road. Yes. What's your impression before um, we start criticizing? Nigeria, Mrs. Ademoe, Samaila Consultant. Um, we supervise this road. The um, construction has been very, very of high, uh, of high quality. Right from the beginning, yes, you can see that it's a solid construction, and we are very pleased with the contractor. Although we have some challenges which we are trying to solve, and by God's grace, we pray that everything will be solved so that we can complete this road and that to benefit the people of Kampala State and everybody in Nigeria, because it's a very, very important road that leads from. Uh, Abuja to the other part of the north. So we are praying that we'll be able to finish this road if um, we, um, we, are, we, are, we are given enough funding for this project. Where is the contractor? Where is the contractor? Which company? I won't use your name. Which company? Which company? Which company? Which company? Which company? Thank you, the Honorable Minister, uh, sorry, the Governor Kaduna State, uh, the Honorable Minister of Information and uh, Defense. Uh, you are welcome to this site. We are very pleased to have this delegation, very strong delegation to our site. Uh, as you can see, the uh, project, like uh, as I explained, uh, 16 kilometers of this road is already being put to use. And this is one of the reasons the federal government would say that uh, they would like to, this portion, to be able to carry a large traffic, especially the trucks going to refinery. And if you are using this road, even by now, when you are coming from Abuja, you can use it. And when you are coming even from uh, Zaria, South Koto, you can take the other western bypass and join it in Abuja and come to the refinery. So really, it helps to discongest this place. The remaining aspect of the job, are at various stages of percentage of completion. All the earth work for this job and tear for the stretch of the road, about 70 to 75 percent of which has been completed. All the bridges, uh, we have about 16 bridges. Uh, from Kakao to this place, about eight bridges has already been finished out of the 16. All the piling work, even the river, the river, uh, uh, the river foundation, at least the piling work has been done on all of them. All the culvert has been finished. Uh, so actually, we have our handicaps, which we really, which is really now affecting us. Uh, this project started uh, with the problem of lack of funding. Actually, when this job started, what we are getting for this project is only one billion a year. The project is supposed to be a 16 billion naira job but for the, it's supposed to be finished in 36 months. But for the past three years of the project, only three billion was allocated to the project. 
So, and uh, even the down payment that is supposed to be made took 33 months out of 36 months to be paid. So this is our handicap. We even where there is value of the initiative, there is budgeting allocation, sometimes we have difficulty in having the money assessed because of this difficulty. And look, because of this time now, the issue of rate review has been pending for more than six years and it has not been completed. These are the handicap. So I hope, sir, your visit will be able to help because we are ready, we are mobilized from the inception of this project. We brought, even before we are paid advance payment, we brought all our machinery and equipment. We have all the issues. We have quarry, we have actual plan, we have everything that you can call that will do this job. Yes. So we hope that this business will help us to achieve this or that. We are only here, Nigeria is our country, and we want to be part of the success of this administration. Thank you, sir. Great. Yes. Faithfulness. Um, the portion of the road we have seen, this is uh, well constructed. Everybody can see that this is, uh, this is a good effort. Um, yes, we have challenges of funding to some of our major because of the overwhelming commitment of the federal government. You have this road all over Nigeria. All of this is a bypass. This, there are other roads linking cities and regions that are ongoing. So, uh, most of the time, when it comes to the annual budget, you can see us who wants us to give all the money to the university. And now you can see that this is uh, another commitment. We are asking for money for roads. So, these are the commitments we have. There are many you know, almost, yeah. like almost to thought of all the roads you see in Nigeria are federal roads. If you go within Kaduna Metropolis alone, you see many federal roads. You go to Lagos, almost 90% of the roads in Lagos are federal roads, including the inner city of Lagos. We build those roads, we maintain them, all of them, from uh, Pictoria Island to uh, Semerboda, I mean to Badagri. Uh, from Apapa to Semeboda through Agege, they are federal roads. Everything, you see, all the infrastructure, all the major bridges in Lagos, they are federal roads. Then you have to maintain the seaports, then you have to do the railway, you know. Then you have to do strategic roads leading all the cities. These are all federal roads. So sometimes it's not easy for us because resources are limited all over the world. Some governments now, like India, like, uh, you know, Malaysia, most of the countries, they are using PPP to construct roads because in, you know, increasingly well, it's becoming clear that federal government alone can never you know, meet the demands you know, for road construction. So we are looking for investors also that can take up some of these roads and that's why we set up the Infrastructure Regulatory Commission to make sure that those who have the money to invest in roads, they can take toll for some time. Once the money is recovered, then the roads belong revert back to public uh, ownership. Now, this is what we are trying in different... I'm not saying that this road is going for that, but I'm simply explaining uh, some of the constraints that the federal government faces. The railway, we are facing emergency, we are dealing with it. Power, we are facing emergency, we are dealing with it. Education, we are facing emergency. We have just placed 200 billion for us, in addition to 45 billion for allowances. They are just federal universities. We are not talking of polytechnics. We are not talking of colleges of education. We're not talking of uh, federal uh, <coughs> secondary schools, like unity uh, colleges. We're not talking of research institutes. Now, all those are investment from the federal government. Then when you add this to all the other problems, insecurity, I'm sure the money we're spending in the northeast of Nigeria can build all the roads we're doing now. So you still have to not devote a lot of money uh, to deal with problems of insecurity caused by some Nigerians. So all these are, you know, on the head of the president and the federal government. So uh, sometimes we are therefore not able to move as fast as we should. But I'm sure that this road will be completed. I'm thanking the contractor for the great job uh, you're already doing. So steadily, we have seen this road, we have seen the good job that has been done and the progress made, and we'll be reporting uh, when we get back to the federal minister of work to again pay more attention to this road because of the strategic connection uh, and the reduction in traffic congestion in Kaduna. So this is really a very good project. We are happy with it and we will make sure that uh, we put pressure for more funding for the road. Thank you very much.